Mm, hello, all. like uh, in this video, we are going to look about sets. So, yeah, before that, yeah, I would like to say something. Like, I just found a trick in uh, what to say, Ju Jupiter Lab. Like, uh, let's say a lot of things are running. Like, okay, look, a lot of uh, notebooks are running, and they will spawn actually individual kernels. So, but I just want to shut them all. Like, uh, so rather than selecting like this one and then shutting down and then another, another one and shutting down. What I can do is like, okay, I can, I think in uh, other computers, you can press control key, but on Mac, it is this, uh, what to say that, uh, what to say the command key and uh, you can just select all these uh, notebooks by clicking on it and then just give shutdown. So that's how it works. So uh, that's the thing. Now I think I can just close all of these, right? So, okay. So yeah, we'll put a new, what to say, notebook why it's taking so long shouldn't take so long okay yeah fine <laughs> now it created so you saw right like when it's been created okay it's creating a notebook and all those things what i found out now is yeah while shutting down the kernel i just gave a create notebook and it took time so that's the thing okay i'll just rename this as sets so that like uh Okay, uh, what is the difference between set and array? So we'll see that. Okay, so array you can have some elements like uh, four, five, eight, nine. Look, I'm good at numbers, so I'm just using numbers. It doesn't mean that you also should use numbers and all those things to understand this concept. You can use names or something like that. Okay, and in arrays, what I can do is I can even add another nine or something like that. Right, so. So yeah, so you've got two nines and all those things. But what are sets? Sets are nothing but unique collection of elements. So I can just put a, a set, okay. So, and to create a set, what I just do is I just use this thing called set that's inbuilt in uh, Julia. And I just say, array. you just create a set out of this array. So look that uh, two nines are being gone, okay. So uh, like there's only one nine, okay, because uh, set is nothing but a unique collection of uh, what to say elements that's what uh, uh, we call a set okay so you can't have duplicates and all those things and it comes useful in even in data science you uh, like uh, yeah we will see it in future I just don't want to confuse things okay? so yeah if you're just getting confused about something what I'm saying just forget about it and just take in what you understand okay so that's the uh, best way to go forward and learn okay so that's the thing and yeah and we have okay yeah so let us stick to this one so because i would have done something and uh, i'm just looking at this once again so we are just having a set okay and we are just having another set like three four five six seven we are just having another set i just want to know if we can create a set like this one one seven nine or something like that no no okay yes fine yeah this scissors is used to cut a set like if you've done something wrong and you just want to take it out and that means uh, you, you can cut a cell with that but it doesn't mean that okay like let's say if i just give set is equal to five okay right and you just cut a cell okay and you think that this set will apply over oh, here right no right most often when i messed up too much uh in jupyter lab what i used to do is i used to do one uh, do this one kernel uh restart kernel and run also so this will just restart the kernel so i think you can see this one i uh, know it's not yeah kernel restarted and all those stuff next it'll run everything okay so that's the best way to mend the mistakes in jupyter lab right okay so the thing is, yeah, I think you need to go and look at set in Wikipedia and all those things. Okay, like uh, set, let me look at Wikipedia and yeah, set mathematics, right? Yeah, like uh, there is a, a goodish definition in Wikipedia and all those things. So that's the thing. And I think even in Khan Academy, there is courses like Khan 
and try to donate okay because like uh, these people are just great people and i don't know whether they are making enough money and all those things uh so try to donate to them if you have extra money it doesn't mean that you should always donate in some channels like temples or what to say religious institutions or something like that you can uh even donate to scientific institutions and donations doesn't need to be just like providing food and all those things like uh that's the thing and yeah khan academy should have something about set sets right okay okay let me put set theory uh, 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 uh programs so you do have some videos about sets and all those stuff um but i'm not sure okay fine but yeah it's better to uh what to say uh know about sets and all those stuff okay like uh we will see like where it can be used like already i already have a nlp problem which i want to code from scratch just for the fun of it and yeah we'll see about that right yeah maybe uh that will be a, that will appear in my blog uh what to say uh soon but in video i don't know when it will appear but videos are catching up uh very fast with my blog okay so what i'm just doing is like i have set over here i have another set over here and to another set i'm just pushing a element like uh it is just like array push okay so so if you see it's not getting added at the end or something even if it gets added at the end you shouldn't be fooled like uh what to say set this some uh, something that can be indexed so let me just show i'll just put set of zero right no it will throw an error if i put array of zero it'll it will work okay set doesn't have an index set will only say like whether it okay array of three okay so uh so set will only say that whether it has an element or not so that's how it is right so uh, that's the thing and yeah so you can push an element so that we saw right now we can see a uh, union of sets union of sets means like yeah i think i took this from wikipedia i just think. yeah this and all these images i took it from wikipedia yes right so right yeah so union of set means if you take all the elements of this set and put all the elements of this set what you will get okay there will be some commonalities but that commonalities won't repeat okay so set is there four two three one okay and this is there like another set so like another set is now five four six okay yeah let me just print it okay so print plan set i think okay yeah this prints very well okay so okay yeah uh, so let me just put something like this one right okay set okay and uh, so this is set i'm just making it so that like it will be easier to visualize and understand nothing else and i also put this one and what to say I'll just put a GitLab repo for this and just put it uh, so that like you people can have uh, these two. Like the final goal is to create a book, Data Science with Julia, uh, and uh, yeah, and to give it to the world. So that's the final goal. So yeah, now we'll just do union. Okay, union is equal to. Uh, okay, so this we we'll just put union of set, not a set. I don't know whether this will work because okay, but yeah, I think Julia is intelligent enough to understand. Okay, this is a function call because it has it has a braces and this is a uh, what to say a variable. Okay, so I think Julia is smart enough to understand. And okay, so let me just put like okay. union and union okay and there is another trick in uh, jupyter uh, notebook so i'll just show you yeah so uh <laughs> okay okay this union is already defined so okay yeah so another trick it's time for another trick 
So a uh, union is since already a function you can't put as a variable. So Julia isn't smart enough in that. So union set I'll just put okay, right? Okay, so set okay, let me just put even some dummy printer. So that there'll be nice lines okay like okay okay fine so you have set four three four two three one okay and another set is five four six seven eight three okay so the union is take all these elements take all these elements put together okay but uh, uh there should be no duplicates okay so the double force will only appear as single force okay and is there anything that's there in one set not another yeah there is two in this one there is no two in this one so that's the thing so that's how it is there is three in both okay so that's the thing so union means you take elements of all these sets put elements of all these sets and that's it that's the union right and make them unique no duplicates right so that's how it is okay and intersection intersection means what are all the common elements okay so you have uh, okay let me just put okay this one okay uh, okay okay yeah i just press command over here or control in uh what to say uh control in other things like uh, non-mac systems like windows and all those things mac is not a computer okay so oh, that's right okay so i need to put intersect okay intersect set. N T R S E C T intersect set set okay okay now let's see okay so what is intersection okay so you can see from the diagram what are the common things between these two sets okay that is the intersection so four is com four is here and four is here and then three is here three is here so that is called intersection okay and difference okay. Uh, the difference is okay there is one set and there is another set what is there in this set like that is the left side set that is not there in the right side set the difference okay so difference of it okay so that's the thing so so these are the main uh, to say operations for sets so I'll just Okay, right. Okay. It is just DIFF, right? Okay, uh, I am actually uh, from Ruby background, so and I don't like this naming convention where we just put set diff and hopefully for, uh, hope people to understand. Look. I know English and most people who are looking at the blog know English and we can understand it's a different. But imagine like some country where English is not spoken so much and all those things. Even yeah, uh, my primary language is not English. And uh, so yeah, for them to understand this one, they might understand this say TDEFF or something like that. So so I'm I'm not in favor of that. I want functions to be okay. It if it is set diff, I just want it to be written it like set diff. But anyway, uh, this is the thing Julia is following. Okay, anyway, like uh, leave it like we can't change them. We are not powerful enough to change them, so leave it. And even if you are powerful enough, I don't know whether uh, if if I become or we become powerful enough, I don't know whether we'll be good enough. Okay, so that's the thing. Okay, so uh, four, two and one are elements in set. That's not there in another set. We can even what to say swamp it what is there in another set that's not there in set so another set is there okay so, so another set is there and what is there in another set that's not there in set okay we'll just see okay so five six seven eight is there in another set which is not there in set okay so uh, it is like okay the left and right just imagine that thing okay what you have in left that's not there in right okay so that's the thing and yeah we can try length of set that will just say how many elements are there in set okay so 
even if you push uh, same element like okay if you you have set one right even if you push one millions of times the set length won't increase if you push only a new value unique value it will increase okay and of course type of uh, yeah type of is a very universal thing i think we should even stop talking about it okay fine. anyway leave it okay yeah so yeah set can also be accessed like this one like uh each and every element you can't access it via index but you can access it like something this one for uh, element it said and i'm just printing element right so that's the thing i think we can even join or something like uh, join okay sit all right yeah so so we can do that ah yeah so over here i just put, put print join okay yeah so you can't sort a set look set is not an ordered pair set is just collection of unique it's okay so you just simply can't sort a set right so that's the thing uh that's the thing and converting sets to array yeah yeah you can convert a set to array just like you made a set from an array okay so uh so uh no you can't okay i thought we can okay so but I think uh, we can do this list co comprehension and convert it. So that's what I am I doing. Yeah, yeah. Array from set. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Like I'm just thinking now, like I thought when I wrote this blog. When did I write this blog? Okay. Uh, when did I write this blog? Now I'm 22, 2020. Okay, fine. Yeah. Even though I've forgotten it, I thought it goes the same way. Okay. So yeah, we have converted into an array and or to say like uh, now we can just put type of just to confirm it. So this is comprehensions. You just please look at comprehensions. So that's the thing. And that's the thing. Uh, you can convert a set to tuple. Okay. It's very easy to convert a set to tuple, but only converting to array. So it takes something. But I think, I think uh, that's been done possibly because uh, do, uh, array is cost or something like that so and you can pop out the element and say okay yeah this one stuns me because if it's not an ordered pair you don't know what gets popped out okay so uh, that's the thing so but yeah this one stuns me so you can even think like okay so actually it shouldn't i don't know like okay so and size of set won't work okay so that's what i've put so yeah definitely it shouldn't work here so that's the thing yeah so that's it is that's it about sets so uh, i hope you got something like just imagine it like a unique uh, array that contains unique elements and uh, you can find uh, what to say uh, some commonalities and dif differences between sets and all those things is this something in what to say uh, over here which i left or something uh okay okay the symmetric difference i didn't say but okay yeah uh, anyway like uh this how we can do is the symmetric difference of uh a and b i'll just tell you right okay so symmetric difference if you want even i'll just put image of it like yeah i don't know put it as markdown uh and then image you can put it in markdown with this one like command and copy image link okay so okay this is okay oh god that's big okay symmetric okay but yeah anyway let me just try to edit it okay Uh, if the symmetric spelling is not correct, yeah, just forget it. English is not my primary language, and even my own primary language, Tamil, like, so just forget it. Okay, so uh, so what we can do is like we can take union of these two sets, and that minus this intersection difference is the symmetric difference. So uh, what we can do is like okay, like you can just put union 
set which is equal to union of uh, what to say set another set okay right so this we have union set and okay like i just want to i just don't want to what to say so union means these two you have got okay these two lobes you have got union okay now we need to take intersection to get this white part okay intersection set it's equal to intersect another set so i just want to check whether it's working okay yeah now symmetric difference symmetric difference difference is equal to okay what is this uh, symmetric difference is uh, okay it is like uh, uh, what to say i tried something over here right yeah set diff now we need to do set diff set diff of union set i o n okay union set comma intersection intersection set okay so that's the thing okay right it should be set diff. so yeah that's the thing okay so this is symmetric difference okay maybe i need to update my blog but yeah i'm just lazy and all those stuff but yeah so yeah uh this is the thing like uh, i don't know whether there is uh what to say symmetric difference or set in julia but yeah like uh that's the thing right so yeah anyway i just hope uh, you understood about sets and how to use julia for sets and all those things usually i use it to find unique elements of an array and all those stuff Okay, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I don't know whether you enjoyed, but yeah, I hope you understood something. Uh, yeah, so anyway, have a nice day. Bye.